So I got a couple questions about um, after you ferment your tomato seeds and then you pour them through the sieve, like exactly what do you do? Uh, so I just thought I'd go over some of these that I still have fermenting. So I've got this. I just put it into the sieve. I'm going to wash it real quick. Get rid of the tomato gunk that was there. There's some sticks and stuff in here, but that doesn't bother me so much. Now what I'm going to do is just kind of let it drip dry for a few minutes in here. Um, and while that's happening, I'm going to come over here and write on my paper toweling. I use just regular old paper towels and fold them to the size I think is going to fit. So these are the large cherry tomatoes that we fermented in the video together. Actually, these are the exact same ones. So I'll do that. And then what I will do is, I'm rushing this a little bit, but after I've let that sit for a while, you guys have seen me do this before. Just whammo, if this is all clean now. So this is, I think, where people are getting confused. So now I just, this is just dirt and debris. It's fine. I can pick it out when things are dry. I kind of spread it out into one level. Right? And then I'll pick it up and I'll move it to a rack like this. I've got two going right now. This is just a regular old baking rack. You could use... Uh, eggshell carton or whatever and then I take it and I put it into my dining room or somewhere warm out of the direct sun and out of you know where birds can come and attack and get all my seeds to let it dry and then after about I don't know this is about a, a week or so here is the um, a random tomato mix I did that's all dry now so this literally is ready to go into storage so now what do I do so now what I do I've got a lot of seeds on this one and it's kind of a thick bunch of tomatoes so I'll either get one of these uh, half size uh, paper envelopes I prefer paper to plastic but in the old days I used to use plastic so I kind of have a mix of both or I've got one of these big manala envelopes that I can use and what I can do is just mark on here, tomato. This is a mix of all different kinds of tomatoes. Surprise mix, October of 2022. And I always like to fold them in half. So it could, it could fit in here. Um, so I'll go ahead and take this, fold it in half. And then um, I will get one of my seed totes. And I have shown these to you guys before. I am not a very complicated person, so my seed saving system is not very complicated. I, I have these uh, file folders. Um, they're the ones that the ends are all enclosed, so they're like that. And then I just took some cardboard and cut it to shapes. And I marked alphabetically what everything is. So I'll flip to tomato. And you can see I have lots of tomato seeds from previous years. And I do uh, test my tomato seed before I use it. So I'll know if it's good or not. Um, so I'm going to come back over here and just do... I'll probably put all October 22 tomato seeds into this file folder. This expands. It's an accordion style. I got that. And then I will come over to my box of tricks and I'll put this the closest forward. 
I, I have seeds going back to uh, 2017 that are tomato seeds still in paper toweling. It's in plastic. Well, again, that's not my favorite, but I don't want to waste it. Uh, 2019 and further back and further back. But So this is just my system. I have two of these totes. Um, and I'll just go ahead and close this up. I'll wait for these other seeds over here to dry. Again, they're on that rack, so the back side is getting air underneath it. Here's those large cherry tomatoes, and now I've got two black cherries that are fermented. Uh, actually, excuse me, black cherries. They're uh, black Cherokee tomatoes, which are the big... Uh, slicers with the dark tops and the nice red bottoms and then I'll get to my cucumbers so that's how I do it from start to storage and then in the spring next year I'll decide when I'm going to plant where and then I'll do some testing to make sure the seeds are still viable I'll try to use older seeds first or if I collected a certain kind of seed that I really prefer this year then I'll um, I mean, from this year that I want to grow preferentially next year, then I'll go ahead and do that. But, you know, I've got all sorts of seeds. And again, this is one of a few totes I have. So that's how I do it. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, let me know if you've got a better idea. I'm open. Thanks.